Plum, Wilson, Young, and Swords. As for the Fever, it's been working for them. They had their first back-to-back -back wins of the season a couple of games ago. Pondexter, Wheeler, Dupree, Vivians, and Achanwa. Goes up. And he said more than anything else, the team was sluggish. A lot of people, despite the two losses, she had a career high versus Vegas in June. Wilson out. Turnover by the Fever early. Asia Wilson on the run. Coast to coast. Take a look at Asia Wilson. And you hear she picks up the steal and she looks up the court. And she's the one in front. She saw Kayla McBride, but saw she had an advantage on offense. Took it straight to the hole. Finished it. 6,000 points tonight. Tied. First two aces buckets have been from Asia Wilson. Then Plum with the three. Off of that screen. Play over to Achawa. A little hesitation. So Turnover. Right now, you see the ace. That was a inside. Six seconds on the shot clock. Wilson, 15 feet away. That's Takeaway. Pocket picked by Kayla McBride. She's on Plum's left. Laid in. Time that she is challenged. And according to Mitchell, if Asia continues to evolve, develop some guard handles, extend her range a little bit, she said. Guys, I don't know who will be able to come after time. She's not a rookie. She doesn't play like a rookie, doesn't move like a rookie. Of course, the only rookie in the all bomb again, taking a shot baseline. Asia Wilson, cleaning the glass. Bill Lambeer said he also didn't like the pace the other day. In a screen. McBride. That one's for two. No good. Have to help out. Pondexter to Dupree. He's up on the outside a bit. Three seconds remaining. And ripped away by the vet. Outlet pass to Erica Wheeler. No one around. In the WNBA. Make the playoffs. Ace is currently sitting. After a shooter on this morning about her elbow just to see how she was feeling. She said it was still a little bit sore. But she wears that shooting sleeve on her left hand because... Question. They can call it probable if they want, but they haven't met McBride, baby. Great point, Katie. Have to get that shot off. And the other day you mentioned it. Ty, as there's a... a great adjustment. She's doing a great job. Oh, and she's taking such pride in her defense. Yes! Another three. Tall shot does not fall. Mariah Jefferson bounces right off and in. Catch. Shoot, coming across. Up in the bone. Nice catch and finish. Can you look at this team right now and how the aces are moving around? Coming around, Jefferson trying to stay in front. She does. And yeah, she wanted that charge. Of course, Bill and Beer saying it. Back to McCall. Great. With the screen to help her out. In. It's handy. Tamara Young. Wow. Well, and they definitely do, right? They want to win this game. And they don't have playoffs. They're eliminated from the playoffs. The team who put their first back-to-back -back wins together after they were eliminated from the playoffs. And one. You see Mariah come in, and as the contact comes, she turns her back to the defender and flips it over her head. Off. Six seconds remaining on the shot clock. Moving inside. Blocked by space. She can go straight up and down. And she... Hard hit for Jamie Nard. Nard takes a good hit to the top knot. She's okay. Aces. Plus. Wheeler for three. Oh. Wheeler going to take another. Round to Wilson inside the Swords. Follows the rebound. Inside to Dupree. Everybody was all over that. So another long ball. But they're able to be aggressive and get. Long three for points for Kelsey Plum. Oh my. Full volleyball. House of fire. Oh, touch pass from Great Pondex. Over to Dupree. Final seconds of the first half. Half. Shots got to go up. And in. And he said it's kind of the same as what Katie Wingy and our crew just took you through in terms of the renovation. He said it's built. The Fever has cut it to four several times. 
turn around and in. Long ball. Making her 11th. Achanla. Kayla McBride comes around and You see she's coming off of the screen. Kathy Pondexter and Vivian reaching in. She still finishes with the contact. Today. Three for ten shooting for Dupree. Time Ross is lit up and excited. Aggressive defense by the Aces. He came through. Mitchell tried to throw it over to Achanua. Kara, Carolyn still there. <laughs> Not tonight. Great post to post entry pass. 12 point lead after a great defensive effort. Finishing it in the office. Kelsey Mitchell and Tiffany Mitchell on that team. And of course, Tiffany Mitchell and Asia Wilson. <laughs> off the screen. Designated play for her or not. A takeaway from the game for the Aces. They have led from the start of the game. And Kelsey Plum. Rattling around no good, but Achana with the second effort. Paul and Dexter off. Everything runs through her. What a pass from G. Sue. Just 19 years old. Wheeler has been spent. McCall turns around, nails. Gave her the nickname Bird. Everybody calls her Bird, and she's a tough player. But that is not her job on this team. She's more of a uh, setting up the, up the team. She started practice with, I can't wait to win. That positive attitude, I know you've got. They were comfortable going in so that they could play at the level that they're used to playing. Love watching GC play. She looks inside, she sees Dierica, gets to the baseline. Goes up, spin to get the defense on her back. Kelsey Plum standing in the corner. Falling backwards. Plum that reminds us of what she did in college. Yeah, three assists, four rebounds. Either not able to get anything to fall or... Jefferson. McCall. And six long taking a rest with the rest of the starters. Nard. Just finding me. Takeaway there by Jefferson. Vivians. Seconds ticking down. Right now you see confidence. You see them having fun, not stressed out about what's happening on the court. Dallas, Dallas lost earlier today. They will play again tomorrow.